The Spider-Men of the insect world. Web spinners shoot silk from their legs to create intricate mazes of weaving silken tunnels. Fully adapted to navigate this unique constructed environment, they remain elusive and frankly underappreciated. Welcome to the Insect Spotlight Project, a channel dedicated to shining a light on insects, spiders, and any other creepy crawlies that get left out of the ecologic spotlight. Today, we're talking about the order Embioptera, also known as the web spinners. Admittedly, these are not the flashiest looking insects. Out of the few hundred or so species, most of them are going to look generally the same. But they're super cool, just trust me for a second. The good news is, since they all look sort of similar, it makes identification a little bit easier. The Embioptera are elongate and flattened dorsoventrally, so you can get the best look at them from above. Most of them are going to be a blackish, brownish color, but some species do have a reddish tinge. They are also prognathous. This means their mouth parts point outward, like a stick insect or an earwig. This is as opposed to hypognathous, where their mouth parts point downward, such as in a grasshopper. Actually, Phasmatodia, the stick and leaf insects, are thought to be one of the closest living relatives of the Embioptera. The most distinctive trait of the web spinners, however, is their namesake, the silk glands. I wasn't kidding when I said they're literally Spider-Man. Their front legs have tarsi that are modified for silk production. Tarsi is just a fancy word for insect feet. This gives their front tarsi a swollen appearance and makes for a great ID tool. Some Embiopterans have wings, and some species don't. However, even in those that do, only the males will have wings. Females are always wingless. Though not known for their flying, web spinners are known for their rapid and versatile movement. The Embiopteran wings can actually fold over the front of the insect, which, along with some well-developed leg muscles, can allow rapid backwards movement throughout the silken tunnels. The name Embioptera means lively and winked, derived from the Greek words embios and teron, likely referring to those rapid, versatile movements we were talking about. They even have some flexible cerci at the back of their abdomen to aid in sensing their environment, which comes in handy when scooting backwards. The web spinners are hemimetabolous, meaning they have an incomplete three-stage metamorphosis, going from egg to nymph to adult. The female will lay her eggs within the silken tunnels, and once the nymphs hatch out, they'll remain in the safety of the colony until they reach their adult form. The males will exit the colony and journey off to find a mate. The females will often remain in the colony in which they were raised, but some will disperse and go off to start new colonies. However, since they don't have wings, they're normally not getting very far. This gregarious living situation isn't particularly common in the world of insects. And because there's a significant amount of parental care being exhibited by raising nymphs in these communal silken caves, we refer to web spinners as subsocial. There are a few different levels of sociality in insects, and I guess this is a good enough time as any to go over them. When we think of social insects, we often think of eusociality, such as honeybees or ants. These insects cooperate in the care of their young, have multiple generations living within the same place, and have reproductive castes, where only some adults reproduce. There are also semi-social insects, which share all the same traits, except different generations don't cohabitate. Quasi-social insects are similar to semi-social insects in that they hang out together and take care of each other's young, but they don't have those reproductive castes. And subsocial is where the insects hang around one another, but there isn't really a formal social structure or any real cooperation in rearing young. So after the males track down colonies of other females, they mate, and then that's about the end of their story. The females will sometimes eat the males, but even if she spares him, the male will die shortly after. Male web spinners don't even really eat. In many groups of web spinners, the females can also reproduce parthenogenically, creating fully viable eggs without fertilization. The females take great care with these eggs. These silken tunnels are normally in very sheltered environments, such as under stones, in dead wood, or buried under leaf litter. And on top of that, they'll sometimes silk together lichen and other debris over the eggs to create an even more effective camouflage. But egg production is hard work, 
So unlike the males, adult females will feed. Both nymphs and adult females will graze on lichen, moss, and other plant debris. The females will even sometimes chew up this plant matter and then spit it out for their nymphs to feed on until they're old enough to feed themselves. They're some spoiled little buggers. I've never really heard anyone complain about web spinners. They mostly keep to themselves in their little silk constructions. They can be beneficial, as they cycle nutrients from this plant debris back into the food web. And their silken tunnels can provide some shelter for other groups as well. The most famous of which being the Plochiophilidae, aptly named the silk lovers. These little true bugs will hang about the tunnels for shelter and feed on any mites or other small critters that wander in. If you'd like to cater to some web spinners on your property, make sure you have some shelter for them to build their tunnels. You can do this by leaving logs and other dead wood on your property, preserving your leaf litter, and leaving the usual rocks and stones strewn about the land. But keep in mind that Mbiopterans are much more prominent in warmer climates. So if you're living in Canada or Russia and you're hoping to see some of these buggers, you might need to go a little farther south. I often think of this order as peaceful hermits just minding their business. They aren't showy, but the creations they make can be spectacular. Thank you all for tuning in. And if you like the content, please remember to like and subscribe to keep up to date with future orders. And if you have any fun Mbiopter facts or any web spinner stories, please leave them in the comments below. I always love hearing about them. Peace, everyone.